a wide load. The crew has 20 kilometers of maneuvering. They have one job only. Move the monstrous metallic pipe through this narrow road while ensuring the safety of other road users, including other trucks. This is Mahi Mahiu, a place whose name means hot water in the local Kikuyu language. But it is also the tail end of the Mahi Mahiu escarpment, a place of beauty and history, but can also be deadly to motorists. I am 1,747 meters above sea level and it is quite magnificent. This is a place of many landscapes shaped by volcanic activity in the Rift Valley thousands of years ago. A forest here, hills there, valleys and a breathtaking cliff. Well, this place is beautiful. As you can see, that is Mount Longonot. A nice view. And you can see actually the escarpment, the valley down there. And we are not just the only ones who are enjoying this view. You can see these guys here have stopped here literally to have a nice view of the escarpment. For some, Jump, okay. this is where their bread is buttered. Now you can have a look now. Mm. I do have a lot of money, souvenirs mm. from all over the whole world. Uh -huh. This is the state of Eritrea. This one is Eritrea. India. India. Five pounds of. Five pounds where? Central Egypt. This is for Uganda. This is 50,000. Yeah, this is the Bank of uh, Emirates. UAE. That is Egypt. Egypt. This is Malaysia. Malaysia. Mm, you know most of the dollars we change. <laughs> <laughs> most of the dollars and well, pounds yeah, we change, yeah. yeah. Along the escarpment, a line of bitumen curves out of the rocky cliff. There is a road that links the Kenyan capital city and the Maasai Mara, one of Kenya's wildlife sanctuaries. But here, the state of travel is always unpredictable. Drivers on this road are always pushed to the edge of intense competition. In many occasions, it turns tragic. Seven people were injured, seven vehicles reduced to ashes. Seven people are receiving treatment at Kiku Mission Hospital. Tens of drivers and their passengers spent two nights on the section of the road. After a gas tanker exploded at Mutarakwa along the Nairobi Mai Mahia Road. Nyingi sana hata hapa mali tunakaa hata juzi kama vikidili kwa meanguka kingine tena hapo siku za break watu wenyewe kiukugena barabara kitu kama hiyo
It is 11 o'clock. One Sunday morning. This truck from Seven Stars takes a corner at Rironi Junction in the county of Kiambu. Just a few kilometers from the capital city of Nairobi. It is where the 20 kilometer Mai Mai stretch begins. The crew is transporting a huge metallic pipe to the neighboring Uganda. And they know they are about to join the most challenging part of the journey. Any slight mistake and the consequences could be dire. They hope bad news won't be coming out of the escarpment as they drive down towards Mahimayu town. In case of an accident or any vehicle developing mechanical problems along the stretch, their journey could be derailed by hours or even a day. Such occurrences are common here. Six o'clock in the evening. This Triton truck develops a mechanical problem. The driver is forced to stop in the middle of the lane. Well, a few moments after this truck developed mechanical problems and chaos have started already along this escarpment. As you can see, a long line of trucks is already developing. Remember, it's always a busy road. This is bad news for other motorists. They know they will be on the road for longer hours now. Being a Sunday, a good number are rushing back to the city or towns they are best in. The economic value of this road cannot be overemphasized. It leads to one of Kenya's tourist destination, the Maasai Mara. It also links Kenya's capital city with Kisumu City and other counties like Bomet, Kericho, Kisi, Homa Bay, and many other places in the western region and the neighboring Uganda. With a narrow road, vehicles including heavy trucks have to move off-road to go past the faulty truck. But for some, like this truck with a text container, it's a big no. Going off-road is like dancing with the devil himself. With this truck heavily loaded, the driver knows that any slight slip and he will fall right into the ditch. So he asks his co-driver to have his vehicles going up the escarpment to stop briefly and give him a chance to go past the stuck one. It's the only way he can do it safely.
moving a heavy and wide load like this one along the escarpment requires precision and more importantly, patience. Very few places in Kenya have many sharp corners, like here. In some areas, the truck is forced off the road. It's too narrow to accommodate both the wide load and trucks headed in the opposite direction. But as they move down the escarpment, it becomes tougher and it's because of sharp and tight corners. We are now at the viewpoint. Here, despite the looming danger, motorists overtake and overlap dangerously. So sharp are corners here that it's totally impossible to see what is coming towards you. It is a fact many drivers ignore and quite often it has led to tragic losses of lives. What do you have to do with my family? I don't know how to do it. 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 While at the viewpoint, we capture instances that can be described as cross calls. Now look at this car accelerating up the escarpment. It's a tight corner. And most probably, the driver is completely unaware of what is coming ahead. He's in a blind spot and so he can't also realize that there are two trucks that he must overtake before rejoining his lane. Of course, he can't see that. But he drives on. Our drone camera captures another car descending very fast. By the time he was going past the second truck, the descending car was in a touching distance. He's forced off-road, close to curio shops. We call it a close call. As we continue filming, the slurry and a 14 seater matatu belonging to Transline Classic are overtaking in a tight corner. By then, several trucks are descending. The lorry is suddenly forced off the road almost hitting our cameraman. Another close call, just within minutes. Sana sana huwa hizi lori, ni migu huwa inangoka. Sasa migu hiki ngoka, diyo sa ingine huwa inakuja, inapiga duka. Lakini kama mimi last year, mbosi wa kumi, Nilikuta duka yangu ikiwa imeraliwa iko ikiwa huko chini na Torera. Si au kukua. Si kukua. Yule mtu alikuwa tu ni watchman. Nini nilikuja kwa akili yako? Kwa mfano mimi ningejiuliza what if ingefanyika mchana? 
Ile Sasa wakati alienda kuchukua miguu alikuta gari hakuna nyumba hakuna kachilo kodi hapa kuna majini ama ni mezaitani wamebeba mpaka nyumba kwa gari yuko chini tukakuta akakuta lori iko nini iko huko chini So the crew moving the wide load is forced to temporarily stop. That is until the corner clears. It is where this police officer comes in. He must ensure this truck has sufficient space for maneuvering all the time it hits the road. Where necessary, he commandeers oncoming trucks to vacate the road. or he instructs the driver of the wide load to temporarily go off-road and stop to allow for the road to clear. In this corner is the greatest viewpoint of the escarpment, as George shows us. <laughs> Ika mulima kidogo inaitwa Mount Margaret. Na iliitwa Margaret juu mwenye hiyo shapa alikuwa anaitwa Margaret. Wakati alipolika riziko pale juu ya hiyo kamulima. Oh pale pale pale. Kale kamulima. Uh -huh. Aya, na ile ni Logonot. Logonot ni active volcano hata saa hii. Lakini juu tunapata stima kutoka kwa jiwa damo ndio huyo una, huwa unaona hiyo moto ilipunguka. Nasema jua thamoli ya Olkalia. Olkalia, ya Olkalia. Alafu, upadungo mwingine kuna Hell's Gate. Where we have the best caves in Africa. Na ikiwe umesha ona movie ya Lion King, Lion King ilishutiwa pale opposite next Mount Rogonot. Then, ukiangalia pande hile ingine, kuna zile milima zinaitua Kenton. Maybe, watuwa kwa najua Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya kwa upande huu, imeanzia hapa. Kenton, ukifika pale juu kidogo, unaza abadeas, unaige Mount Kenya. Unasema, this is what you call the foot of Mount Kenya. This is the foot of Mount Kenya. Then, ukiteremuka hapa, hile town Maimahio, Maimahio nijina, imechaganyikana kimasai na kikukuyu. Majimoto, hot spring town. Juu sasa, kuna pahali unaza ingia pale kijabi, hata uwezi ukaoka na hiyo maji juu ni moto saidi. Yo huwa inajulikana maemayo, maemayo hot spring town. George sells curious to foreign and domestic tourists and travelers who stop at the viewpoint to get the snippet of the beauty of the Kenyan Rift Valley. This is the map of Africa. Na Kenya is the part of Africa. You can go to Kenya, and you can go to the Murango, and you can go to the Murango. Kufunga, unazia hapo. Alafu, unafunga. You created this yourself? Nobody can know the secret. Hii diyo huwa inanifluaisha sana. So you love this most? I love, love this the most, I love most. He has been here for over 20 years and he has seen it all. Wakati kuna gali zinaenda pole pole hizi malori zikuwa zimebeba mzigo, kuna hizi gali mingi, 50%. Samchanga huwe ni sinapeleko vizuri zana. Lakini nae 50, 
ni kama mawazimu hiyo speed huwa anakuja naye ni baya zaidi personals personal cars mao barapping dio saa nyingine huona unaona accident inafanya nini yani kumaaniza careless driving lakini naye barabara naye ni, 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 ni kidogo sana Rodi karibia kwa barabara watu wote hawa kali kidogo kuwa wanangangania wapite wa waende Sasa ikiwa mtu gari, gari kama ine eh, wakati hiyo ita, itakuwa mzuri already hamtapata nafasi ya kuenda juu wa, wale walikuwa wanateremka wamefunga wakupata wamefunga Mahimayo is not just a land full of beauty it is also a place of history and especially when we are talking about Kenya's colonial era besides the road there is also history here this place here habari yako ah hapa ndio kanisa iko yeah hiyo kanisa nasikia kitambo sana hii yeah. wewe unaitwa nani mimi naitwa Hana Nyakio Hana Nyakio yeah. hapa ndio nyumbani kwako kimpango kimpango hapa ndio nakucheka kazi kila siku. siku. Aha. Ya, nakujaga hapa. Uhu. Kuosha, uhu. Kwa hii kutengeneza compound. Ehe. Yeah. Na unaenjoy kabisa. Unaenjoy kabisa. Hii iko kwa roho yangu. The smallest church in Africa. In Africa. Yeah. Built by prisoners of war. Hiyo step sasa tumekanyanga. Yeah. It is God the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. God the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Yes, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Aha. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So Italians who build here mm -hmm. were colonized with the road by British. By British. Yeah, about World War II. So Richard time, you know Italians are Romans, they are Catholics. Yes, yes. That's why they built here. Remember they were captured in Somalia by British. Italians who built here, they were prisoners. And they were building this road from my Mahi to Rironi. And that's why you see the road has so many corners. Because there were no machines. You know, Italians are Romans, they are Catholics and British are Protestant. Remember they were captured in Somalia from 1939 to 1945. Yeah, so between the seven years when they were building the road, the short time they built the church. Indeed, this road is yet to be redesigned since World War II. The pressure exerted on this infrastructure by the rising number of vehicles is too much for such a narrow road. Even those of us who are not engineers can quickly tell that this is one of the reasons why Mahimahu stretch is a danger zone to motorists. At around one o'clock in the afternoon, the crew hit Mahimayu town. It is a safe ride along the unpredictable escarpment. They temporarily hold their journey to grab a meal. They still have a long way to go. This town is a common stopover for travelers. The most famous meal for travelers here is barbecue. Or roasted maize for those using public transport. Reli mezengo hapa hivi saa hizi. Hata naona hata watu wamekuwa wengi saa hizi. Eh makabila wamechanganyikana. Kitambo tulikuwa watu wachache sana. Kwa kikuyu tu na Wamasai. Anakumbuka tu last time kama 25. Nilikuwa na vita na hapa hivi ya Wamasai na Wakikuyu, wakikombania maji. Lakini kwa sasa hadi maji iko. Nimeona tu watu wakibadilika. Challenge gani ukwa sana hapa Maimayu? Challenge gani? Vijana sana wengi ufanya kazi ya mchanga. I'm 
My name is Enoxicolia and this is the Kenyan historian. <laughs>